Hello, my name is Ian, I'm from Brinsey Products and we're making a few short videos looking at tips and hints to get the most from your Brinsey incubator and achieve the best possible hatch rates. And in this video we're going to look at thermometers in incubators. Um, all Brinsey incubators uh, have a thermometer built into them, these days mostly digital uh, displays of temperature and uh, we do get customers often contacting us saying that they've put a second thermometer in and they're getting a different reading and this is causing problems and they want to recalibrate. The main point of this video is to say that, as you might expect, that the Brinsey incubator thermometer is the one to trust and the one to go by, but I want to explain why that's important. The first thing is temperature range. When we design an incubator, the thermometer that's built in has a very, very narrow temperature range. It only needs to operate accurately over a few degrees C. If you buy a thermometer online, typically they'll have a much, much wider temperature range and that means lower accuracy. So the first thing is that incubator thermometers are designed for incubator temperatures and therefore they can be incredibly accurate over that narrow range. The second point is about the sensor for the incubator thermometer. When we design an incubator, we're very careful to look at the location of the temperature sensor for the digital readout. And that usually means putting the sensor right by the fan so that it's got the maximum possible airflow, so it'll give the most representative reading of the whole incubator. Uh, if you buy a, a general purpose thermometer and put it lower down in your incubator, there's a risk that the airflow won't be enough for it to get a good representative temperature of the, of the whole incubator. The second point to make about the, the sensors is that we use laboratory grade components, very high quality, very consistent and accurate uh, sensors so that the readout we've got on the display again is as accurate as it's reasonably possible to get. So the last reason not to fit a second thermometer in your incubator is the location of that thermometer relating to eggs and egg dividers. Uh, and the wall or floor of the incubator, all of which will affect the reading you're going to get on that thermometer uh, due to airflow changes, but also because eggs themselves will give out heat when they're in the later stages of incubation. And of course, if your thermometer is right next to that egg, again, you're going to get a different temperature reading. The incubator thermometer up in the top of the incubator in the airflow will compensate for the heat that the eggs are giving out automatically. So the key message really is that if you bought a Brinsey incubator, you've got the best possible thermometer already built into it. We've done the hard work for you, so just set your eggs and leave them to hatch. Thank you.